It is time now for the Roadie Roundup, but we are chatting about some of the headlines making the rounds this week. Let's meet our panel this morning. Sierra Barter from PVD Lady Project, local comedian Andrew Williams, and our own Disney princess, Barbie <laughs> Jo from 92 Pro. I yeah. thought I was the queen. Well, you know? whatever, whatever works. Now, you're going to be out. Uh, I'm a, doing a fun little benefit show tonight in Coventry, Rhode Island. Yes. It's for the West Warwick Steelers. Okay. And we're going to have a wing bar provided by our friends Bonehead. Love them. And it's at 8 o'clock tonight. And find tickets on the old internet. You know how to do that. Okay, we will do that. All right, in the meantime, however, believe it or not, Titanic was out 20 years ago, and it's coming back to the theaters. Is that crazy to even hear? I'm yeah. offended by that number right now. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Me too. feel nice. So, no. so the movie's actually going to go back into theaters, so we wanted to know what other movies like this would you want to see on the big screen? I would love to see When Harry Met Sally. Oh, good one. Yeah, I, yes. I think when it came out, I was probably too young. No. Um, <laughs> I know, sorry. But I saw it like, in my adult years, and I love it so much. It's my favorite movies, but I would have loved to like have the experience. Right, okay, yeah. Harry Met Sally, that's a good one. I would love to go see Beetlejuice. Mm. Another great movie. Well, it was when Alec Baldwin was handsome, and I just want to <laughs> revisit that moment. Like, I remember seeing that movie and thinking, wow, what a handsome guy. Like, yeah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, he's okay. Right. But he's like a different person in that he, movie. Yeah, it doesn't even look like is. It's not even like the and same guy. And those dockers? I yeah. mean,. Not even the same guy. Beetlejuice. Barbie? Beetlejuice. I'm going to win you over right now. Okay. Will Fer Ferris Bueller. I love it. Me Good. too. Yes. Yeah. One of my favorite. classic. One of my favorite movies. Now, t with Titanic going back into the movie, a movie theater, I know everybody's probably seen it a million times. Hey, listen, we all know what happens You all end. know how the ending, ending is. <laughs> Would you still go to see it on the big screen? I saw it twice. I remember as a kid because it was like, a, it was a thing, right? Sure. I think it was the first time my brother saw Oh lady. yeah, got, got However, <laughs> yeah, but like spoiler alert, you know, it's Titanic you know. sinks, so <laughs> yeah. I could watch it on Netflix. It's, okay, and it's, not leave it's my house. a long movie it to go see movie. again. I'm older. That's a lot of bathroom breaks <laughs> yes. for me. I don't know that I have it in me. <laughs> I need to watch from the comfort of my own home. Yeah. I'm not going to go and make it a huge attraction at the movie theater. Right. I can make it that way on my sofa. Right. <laughs> All right, next up, a, uh, a study that's getting a lot of attention today say dogs may be smarter than cats. Do you think this is true, and are you a dog person or are you a cat person? Because there is a big divide on one way or the <laughs> yeah. other, what you are. I am a huge dog person. Mm -hmm. I might be a crazy dog lady. I have three dogs. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and I... Dogs are totally smarter. We have a husky, and she is smarter than like most children. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. She outsmarts me like on a daily basis. Yes, you're like, yeah. oh my god, what happened? Yeah. Where did you come from? Like, she probably has scored higher on the ACTs than I did. <laughs> like, she's very smart. I um, am, don't have pets. I have furniture that I care about, um, <laughs> but I yes, but I absolutely would be a dog person because I don't believe in an animal that goes to the bathroom in the house. Yeah, no, no. yeah, I'm not a cat. Bye yeah. bye. Yeah, bye no. bye. Yeah, I, I'm a dog enthusiast. Yes. I have dogs. Um, I but I grew up having do a dog and a cat, mm -hmm. and in the debate of a dog or cat, I go with the dogs all day. Yeah, me yeah. Too. Me too. yeah. Cats don't seem like they want to be bothered with you. No, no. they yeah. have nothing to do nothing with to you. Nothing to do. Like you they're go little, home. Like, Shady too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. afraid of a cat. Yeah. Kind of yeah. sneaky. Yeah. yeah. I feel like a cat and would smug. like kill you if they could. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> a dog would be like, no, I love you. Cat, not so much. Yeah. No. Not so much. All right, next up. Speaking of dogs, new survey finds that 85% of dog owners say their pooch helps them cope with stress events, stressful events like the ha during the holiday season. So how do you cope with, uh, look, uh, this season can be a crazy time. You, your weekends are booked up with either parties or you want to go out and go shopping or you're traveling someplace. So how do you get kind of chill? I drink a lot. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I never feel like I'm drinking alone with my dogs because they're there. Um, sure. Also, you know, just making sure I have my time to myself. But, but the dogs, it's helpful because you can be like, oh, I got to go for a walk. Right. Or we, or we can't go because the dogs. Right. You know. Yeah, sure. Blame That's, it on them. Blame it on the dog. Yeah. I have a thing where uh, it helps <laughs> when I'm holiday shopping and I'm shopping for myself at the same <laughs> yes. time. Yes. Always one. One for yes. you, one mm -hmm. for me. Right. And then to make myself not feel guilty after it's all said and done, I'll donate as well. So That's it's good. just like a sandwich I build. Like <laughs> I shop for others, I shop for myself, and then I donate. It's a circle and of life. It's fine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Mark? I agree. Like dogs make me happy. People not 
not so much the crowds and the hustle bustle right. of everything at this this time of year. I drink to get through life. A little goose, a little Ciroc vodka helps you through. <laughs> Whatever when, works and, for you. Oh. And, and if you go to the mall feeling a little good, you're going to do really well. And quickly, quickly, <laughs> and what could help us all with stress this holiday season? This is for everyone. Learn how to use the chip readers at the stores oh, now. Yes. It's been God. long enough, right? <laughs> yeah. Nice job, nice job. Well, Thank you, for card in. Merry Leave Christmas, in. happy holidays. Till Always great catching up with our Rody Rock Panel. Excellent advice. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Still to come, the